Hi, y'all. Um, I was just driving to get gas, and I went down another way. And um, uh, right now, I am outside of Biltmore Village, and there's trees just standing here. Of course, there's limbs on the ground, but it just looks beautiful behind me, right? But um, so much of things are gone, and it's just, like, gone. Um, so... You know, you could look at sections of, of Asheville and you go, oh, n normal. But, um, but then you go by the river and, you know, we've been spending years in Asheville trying to build up Asheville and make a, a beautiful river walk and river links. And I mean, just, you know, um, just beautiful parks along the river. And, and it was like we were in our heyday. And, um, one of my friends, she comes into town, she comes to see her sister and she just loves this one park, French Broad River Park. And it's just, it's a beach. It's not a park. Um, and then there's all these 18 wheelers on their side and I could drive you and show the camera. And, and I thought about it and I just, I just can't go back there. I'm sorry. I was going to try to say, oh, I'll take some pictures. It's just like, I could, I can't. Um, and, um, I know this is anything like what's in other places. I mean, you know, um, it's hard to explain Asheville. It's not just one little town. It's a big city. Um, and there's a lot of, um, you know, I'm in East Asheville, close to Swannanoa and Black Mountain and, but um, then Swannanoa got hit bad, and so did Black Mountain. So there's many areas that are closed off, like Biltmore Village. Like, there's the entrance to Biltmore House, and uh, it's the largest house, private house in the United States. And I worked there for five years as a gardener, and when I drove by, I didn't even know it was the entrance. <laughs> I didn't even know it was the entrance. I was like, wait a minute, is that the entrance? Um just have you know this is the thing I know that a lot of people go through national disasters and I see it on television just like you or YouTube or whatever but these are people's homes this is my home I mean I've lived here for 41 years I love it here and you know you can go down one street and it things like seems normal you go down another street and it's you you get a wake-up call you know go oh, oh this you know my neighborhood's okay oh and you it takes you you have to turn around so many places because of trees down or power lines down and I knew that from our neighborhood and our neighborhood's getting back in shape um they've been working on it fur furiously and I know they're working everywhere but you know where I just drove people were in hazmat suits and you can see that the River Arts District is just like, they had piles of like, you could tell they were trying to save this nice piece of furniture, or, you know, this these chairs, and this is garbage, and then the recycling plant, and it's just that you can't recognize things, and there's an area with a, like a lot of graffiti, and you just go, you know, it's just walls are caved in, and ceilings are caved in, and roofs are caved in, and the bridge is caved in, and... um. I knew, I, I wasn't planning to really do this, but I knew that I kind of needed to because I, I have a skill, I don't know if it's a skill, but it was a way of protecting myself, of detaching from a situation. And it helps because you you can, you know, be brighter and bushy-tailed or just, you know, try to spread more, more love and sunshine. But I never want to escape reality, you know, and so... Um, lots of times people think that because I'm all goofy that I'm not, I don't really look at things. Um, anyway, I just want to say that, you know, I'm not trying to take away from any other person's national disaster or, 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 um, or hardship. Um, I just mean that here in Asheville, you know, and I haven't driven downtown. I drove on the outskirts of it and I can go downtown. I, you know, they, they're not close to a river, but, um, 
Biltmore Village. Oh, I just, Daisy and I spend so much time in Biltmore Village. It's one of her favorite places to go. Same with French Broad River Park and, and you know, the River Road where all the parks are, you know, is all closed off right now. And uh, there's a lot of things I haven't chosen to see because I was just dealing with the immediate and um, I still have a lot more to do in my yard and, um, but I've driven hard enough on the driveway and, and, um, um, I'm sorry. I just, um, you know, part of me wants to show you every little thing, but I'm sure you've seen it on television. You've probably seen more than I have. I know you've seen more than I have because I haven't seen anything. Um, I just, it's so hard for me to upload anything and I, I've got to get a battery for this crazy phone. But, um, I'm just, right now I'm sitting in a parking lot looking over at Biltmore Village. I'm, I'm at this, um, I can't remember. It's across from Baymont near, near 40 anyway, or 240. I don't know. But, um, yeah, there were 18 wheelers just on its side and there were clothes up in a tree and there's, you know, a doormat up in a tree and it's just covered with debris. All the trees are and. You know, when I was near Swannanoa, because that's kind of close to where I live, and, and uh, you know, there's wooden logs and there's, there's, uh, there's lots of trees, trees and piles and stuff, and, and, you know, no trespassing sprayed on a building and stuff like that, and um, you just, you, you know, th let me share with you this one thing. I don't, it, it's... It's weird how paradigms shift, you know, in your life. A paradigm shifts. Your environment shifts totally, completely upside down. But then your mind is still back in those other places. Daisy, are you okay there, honey? She's sleeping. I don't know if you can see her. My little sweet Daisy bird. No, you can see her little nose. <laughs> can you see her nose? Is that cute little nose? She's so dirty. She's rolling in the sand. Because all her spots where there's grass, <laughs> she... There's either logs or, or limbs or or sand. Uh, it's hard for her to find her grassy places. So she just, yesterday she was just rolling in the sand. <laughs> we just let her. So she's a tan dog. Her face is tan. I, I had some of those dog wipes, and I wiped her down real hard. I was taking her to the vet today because she had this little red, like a boil or a little bubble on here, and it didn't look good. And... Uh, so I took her and I was waiting in line because it was out in the parking lot. And um, I got there early because they were setting up. I said, well, let me look at that again. And I went to look at her and I can't find it. So, you know, there are good things in the midst of all this craziness. Um, but, uh, excuse me, I just felt like talking to you because I know I'm all up, 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 up. But I just, um, <clears throat> it's just weird. It's just weird. So our update is today is Monday. Um, I think it's the seventh. Is it October seventh? Um, so what the 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 hurricane happened eleven days ago. Um, we were told it might be another week or more till we have power, and then water will be weeks. Um, a lot of us are figuring it would probably be longer than a month. They're finding it's more complicated and a lot more stuff going on than they anticipated. Um, but we're doing all right, you know, um, and everyone has been amazing. I mean, people from all over the country are here. They have upped our law enforcement. Uh, they brought a whole bunch of other law enforcement people here. They brought a Memorial Mission Hospital. Oh, my goodness. You know, they've had a struggle here in Asheville, but they just brought in everybody from all over the country. I talked to a doctor who's an, I think I might have told you, I'm not sure, who's a oncologist for children and you know, the government had the Blackhawks here on Saturday shipping all these little children who had cancer and were in an ICU over to Duke. And, you know, um, I, I hate it when people, when I, you know, emergency workers, hospital workers, everybody is working their guts out. You know, my next door neighbor is a lineman, you know, with a power company and, um, and I think it's a private company, but he's been working, you know, 11 days, 16 hours a day. By the time he gets home, he has five to six hours to sleep. Of course, you can't sleep right away. You got to speak to your wife or whatever, your husband or partner or whatever. People can't keep working like this. They're going to get hurt. Anyway, I keep looking this way. I'm sorry. Each video, I'm, I'm looking at certain things and I'm not telling you, <clears throat> but, um, oh. 
Here comes the fire and rescue truck. I think they probably want me to leave here. This is this is closed right where I'm at. They might be trying to check me out to see if I'm not going to do something stupid. Maybe he was just checking on something. So our road um, where I live um, has caved in. Here comes another policeman. I better leave. Anyway, I just want you to know that it is real. Um, and um, I might put some pictures on community post or I haven't put anything on Instagram. I just don't have a much juice. I'm trying to spend my time, oops, sorry, with um, trying to help out people and, and trying to take care of our home and get some food. Um, that dehydrated food, we're almost out of it. It, it gets a little old. I promised Penny I'd bring home something. So um, now if you go further out, I just got gas, so for the first time, ah, since before the storm. So I, I might uh, try to find something somewhere for her. There are food lines and things like that too. Um, and our local um, Ingalls, which is the basic grocery store around this area, you know how some people have a Piggly Wiggly, some people have a whatever. We have Ingalls and uh, I met Bob Ingle. I was a server at his house. <clears throat> anyway, um, he's a good man, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, where am I going? I'm going to pull out of here. Um, and uh, I just want to say thank you for all your thoughts and prayers and thinking about me. Now I'm looking down the road. Everything's just so dusty and brown. They're in hazmat suits, all those guys walking across the street. Anyway. You take good care of yourselves and cherish the things you love. And if you love a certain restaurant or a park, go to it. If you if you love whatever, an art store or, you know, an art gallery, go to it. Because you never know when it's gone. Okay, I'm going to get off. I care about you guys. Take good care of yourselves, all right? And take care. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.